For hundreds of millions of years, a top-shaped rubble pile called Bennu has orbited the Sun in relative isolation. The asteroid, about a third of a mile wide at its equator, poses no immediate threat to our planet. But hundreds of years from now, there is a small chance that Bennu could slam into Earth. Space agency NASA earlier this week said that an asteroid named Bennu, which is as large as the Empire State Building in New York, could hit the Earth. However, people who are watching this video, neither they or their grandchildren have any reason to worry as this event is unlikely to happen until the 2100s. Bennu is considered one of the most dangerous asteroids in our solar system, and it could hit Earth within the next 200 years. The probability of the asteroid Bennu hitting Earth between now and 2300 is 1 in 1750. The asteroid will come within 125,000 miles of the Earth by the year 2135, which is about half the distance from the Earth to the Moon. Scientists say that the exact distance is important here because the gravity of the Earth will slingshot Bennu as it passes. They cited a phenomenon called gravitational keyhole, which could send Bennu in a particular trajectory due to which it could intersect with the Earth 50 years after 2135. But the eventful day could be September 24, 2182, but scientists say that there is only a 0.037% chance that Bennu will strike the Earth. They have also assured that it will not lead to an extinction event, but the devastation could be enormous. Lindley Johnson, who works as a planetary defense officer at NASA, said that the size of the crater will be 10 to 20 times the size of the object. NASA is also working on a project called the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, which aims to deflect an asteroid if it appears to collide with the Earth. The space agency will conduct the experiment with an asteroid called Didymos in 2022. The report also highlighted that the trajectory of the asteroid is precisely known due to data tracked by the OSIRIS-RX mission. The spacecraft OSIRIS-RX studied Bennu for the last two years very closely, according to NASA. It left Bennu in May this year and is heading back to Earth to drop off the rock and dirt samples it has collected from Bennu's surface. The Osirix RX chose Bennu because of the types of carbon molecules present in the asteroid, which could provide information regarding the building blocks of life on Earth. Please like and subscribe to our channel Space Bites to never miss any video.